and welcome to our channel, Aqua Blue. We moved to the Florida Keys in 2020 and have been enjoying ocean adventures ever since. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get notifications when new videos come out. We have some great content coming that we've been working on for a while now. And thank you so much to all our current and the hundreds of new subscribers we've gotten this past month. Now let's get to the topic of today's video. This is our quest of catching the Silver King. Ooh, it went it's under. Oh my God, we got one. There will be some brief history on tarpon fishing included also. Tarpon were the first major game fish sought after in Florida waters and propelled the big game fishing industry in Southwest Florida. Tarpon are considered a rite of passage for inshore anglers. Setting the hook takes patience. Whoa! But reeling in one of these giants takes strength and skill. They will fly out of the water, oh. twist, turn, and run anything possible to break free of the hook. Oh, you got off. When they jump, the best thing you can do is bow to the king. The only way to get tarpon to the boat is tire them out. When a tarpon is exhausted, it will roll over onto its side. These fish are strictly catch and release, so people catch them for the thrill of the experience and glory. It takes muscle and skill. You have to be able to handle a tarpon or it will handle you. This is a culmination of three years of footage, effort, and patience. We have gone fishing with our buddy Fred numerous times, but he always seemed to be hooking into tarpon when we were out of town, and we missed him. But finally, we hooked up three tarpon in two days, and it was awesome. This video focuses on our three-year quest to catch one of the most sought-after fish, the mighty tarpon, also referred to as the Silver King. Before I go into the specifics of our journey, let's talk about some history of tarpon fishing in Florida. People have been traveling to Florida from all over the world to experience saltwater fishing since the 1800s. Tarpon were the first big game fish to launch Florida's fishing industry. In April of 1885, a Mr. William Halsey Wood caught a tarpon over 100 pounds on a rod and reel. Newspapers and magazines wrote of the historical catch that sparked a desire in anglers all over to test their skills against the Silver King. It wasn't just a sport for men. Women quickly got involved setting records too. Some of the many famous people in history to vacation in Florida and take on the challenge of tarpon fishing were Thomas Edison and Henry Ford, who were neighbors and friends, Herbert Hoover, and of course, Ernest Hemingway. From Miami, a string of keys down to Key West for 150 miles. And this whole area constitutes one of the greatest tarpon. They're big, they're strong, they're fast, they're eager. Boy, do they jump. That medium jig on just to cast it out a little bit. Get back here and drive your head. Tony, you man, get rigged up. They ain't gonna stay there forever. Jeez! We started each fishing trip the same, eager, determined, and hopeful. Boy, we're about perfect right here. Right here? Yeah. Uh, we'll let it go back by itself, but... Yeah, we got 18 feet here, so... The local uh, fishing expert, Fred, takes us on his Rubala 160 time and time again. Our rods ready with plenty of line. Large pinfish are used. This guy, he's a big hawk. This is one that's, he's been around a while. We're gonna, we're gonna put him on anyways. He shows us the deep water live bait fishing technique. Many people still like to fish for tarpon in deep water with live bait and a deep sea rig.
As we wait, we get more hopeful and excited as we spot tarpon rolling on the surface. Yeah, there's a tarpon. That was a tarpon down there. Yeah? Yep, I saw him roll. Yeah. There's a lot of activity. Yeah, this is good. What's with this guy? You don't want to go? <laughs> so you know, joyride. Many trips end in disappointment and a lingering desire to one day catch a tarpon. Using live bait like this can attract more than just tarpon. Whoa! I got that one. Oh, he's gone? Finding and catching a tarpon requires skill, patience, no. and a little bit of luck. We hooked into a number of sharks over the years. Ah, oh, it's a shark. It might be a bull shark. Yeah, I think it's a bull shark. Make sure you get the uh, pipe clamps on there too, the hose clamps on the reel. You don't mess around here. This is what you need for giants. <laughs> you got all the 130s? There it goes. You sure as hell ain't gonna run out of life. Because there's such big fish and so much happens that you're better off with a little less stress on them, on the equipment, and just let them burn themselves out, you know? Get ready, it's gonna launch. Oh, he's really fighting. Here we go. Oh, oh he just ripped off. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Boy, the 80 pound test doesn't bother him, does it? Here, you might lift this one off. Stop the up. This is, this is a repeat. No, well, it's light out in the water. Tarpon like warmer water between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe the turtle eater. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is that? Yeah, that's the shark. The bait. That's the shark. <gasps> yeah, he's chasing the bait. Yeah. He ripped it off. He ripped it off. Oh, there's sharks everywhere. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> his tail's a bit off, but that's from his buddies. They eat each other's tails? Yeah. Really? Grow back. <laughs> the conditions could be perfect and we still wouldn't have a successful hookup. Oh, I just ripped off. Uh-huh. Look at this guy. He's got a half a tail. We're going to give you another chance to do <laughs> Half a tail. We got, you know, don't forget we tried for two years. I know, for two years we got nothing. We hooked up at least one. Yeah, but we were getting the sharks and all sharks, that stuff. Barracuda. Yeah, we got a grouper. Yeah. I got a goliath. You know, <laughs> it's like, really? I never caught that stuff here, you know? And but I'm just telling you, when I, when I tell you activity, you'd see. You know, like you'd be looking now, you'd, you'd see breaks everywhere. They have good vision, so it's easier to catch them at night or right before and after sunset. Persistence pays off on a warm, clear night right before a full moon. We hooked up two tarpon, one after the other. Whoa. Go around the road. He wants to go. You gotta let him tire out. He's not really big. <laughs> the tarpon has a reputation as a fierce fighter, which makes it so fun to catch one of these giants. After catching two tarpon the night before, we had the tarpon fever. So we had to try for a third. Come on, swim, sucker. <laughs> took off like Mark Spitz. <laughs> He started strong, but he's failing. <laughs> oh, he went under. Oh my god, we got one. Here, here, here. Real, 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 real. He's coming at us. Whoa! I'm off the ball. Okay. Whoa! Let me get the other one out of the way. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, he's way off. Okay, okay, hang on. Did he jump yet? Yeah, he jumped once. Uh -huh. Is it a tarpon? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a tarpon. Okay. It's a little yeah. bigger, a little bigger than last night. Sweet. Let go, let go. You can loosen it. Whoa! He's like last night. Yeah. 
See that fresh bait, huh? Yep. Drifting it out. Nice. Okay, uh, we're clear, bud. We're just gonna let you be the hero. Get right down here. Oh, get a good look at them, maybe. Cause before it gets dark. Yeah, we have about five minutes. Yeah. Lighten you can come over here, wherever you want, man. You too. Ready? He's probably gonna. No, he's gonna go again. Yeah, he's got one good jump left in him. It's perfect at the sunset. Yeah, okay, let me see if I can. Uh oh, that's a good spot. Uh oh. Yeah, there he is. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that's a great shot. Yeah. Oh, Channel 5 has got a second <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's going oh, down here again. Here we go. I feel like I'm on a fishing show here. <laughs> <laughs> Two cameramen. Mm -hmm. I think he's bigger than last night. I don't know. Maybe the same size. He feels like a He feels yeah. really strong, right? Ooh. There you go. Why is my phone? <laughs> there he is right there. Very old. Oh, I see him. Yeah. Slightly. I think he's bigger than last guy. There he is. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's done. Oh. oh. He's got a remora on him. You see the remora? Oh, wow. That's awesome. Hold on. Don't tip the... Uh, give me that off. You break the tip. Here. 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 Unless you want me to hook You can grab yeah, his gill if you want. Just don't get the hook. Okay, it's good. We're going in before it gets dark. It's kind of. <laughs> so we did it. We caught the Silver King. Next, we have to catch one over 100 pounds. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm so we can continue to grow our channel. Have a video suggestion you would like to see us post? Comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Y'all got a cat? Where'd you get the tiny cat's bucket? <laughs> yeah. These are the best buckets going. <laughs> yeah. They are. They're yeah. better than the round ones. I'll have to get I put the uh, tidy cat. I put the rope handles on them.